The question number four is to find the arc length using definite integration. The arc length formula is given like this. Integral limits a to b, square root of 1 plus f prime of x means the derivation of the function all squared dx. Please remember this formula and we can solve any of these problems. Here we have been given the function. First thing is derive them up. So it's very important to remember how to derive. Here derivation of 2x plus 1 d by dx is just 2. Same way, what about the next problem? Let's look into this. Natural logarithm secant x. So over here what happens is the derivation that is d by dx. 1 by secant x. And what is the difference here? It's a chain rule. See, ln x is over. But instead of x, we have secant x. So we wrote over here. Now then we have to derive whatever is over here. After this is done, this one. Secant derivation is secant x into tan x, isn't it? So this and this cancels. Your answer is only tan x. And now you use this in the formula. The formula is integral a to b square root 1 plus derive it u. That is f prime or f dash of x the whole square dx. Just substitute this equation. So, sorry, this one over here. Let's use our calculators. So let's press this symbol over here that gives us integral square root 1 plus. Now first let's start for 2. Square. Don't forget the square. And what are the limits? Limits will be given to you. It's 0 to 2. And press equal to the answer is. Now let's see the answer whether it's given. Now it's given as 2 root 5. But what we got is 4.47. And they both are equal because 2 root 5 is 4.47 isn't it same way over here integral what is the derived uh, for square root 1 plus tan x and then square it up don't forget to square it up you can put a bracket or be careful properly square it and then the limits are given as 0 and pi by 4 so now over here you can don't write in degrees write in pi by 4 don't forget to change the mode to radian. Shift mode and 4, that is radian. And what is the answer? It's 0 0.8814. This is the correct answer. Or it might be in terms of LAN minus 2 or something like that. Just be careful. Uh, compare, solve all the options and compare which is the correct one. Same way you can do all these problems. Here, please be careful. The derivation is very important. Now, over here, they have done U substitution and everything. That's not required. A simple derivation is enough. This is just power rule. When you derive it, it's going to be, let's write the question first, 3 by 2 plus 1. Differentiation of this will be, this comes down, it will be 3 by 2 times. 3 by 2 is 1.5. Minus 1 is half. This is 0. So here it is 2 times, it's 2 times 3 is 6x power half. Okay, or 6 root x. Let's type it in the calculator here. It's square root 1 plus 6x to the power half. Now, I need to square this up. And it's just not for the x. It's the entire thing. So, use the brackets properly and square it. And over here, it's 1 to 2. The answer is 7.38 and so on. So, if you know the, uh, you know the differentiation, it's pretty straightforward. Here also, just remember to derive it properly. e to the power 2x derivation is e to the power 2x times chain rule, this one. Over here, e to the power minus 2x times minus 2. Don't forget that. And over here, there's nothing else. I'll leave 1 by 4th out itself. And this 2 and 2 can be taken out. It will be out in the numerator. So you're remaining with e to the power 2x minus e to the power minus 2x. And this is basically half here, 1 by 2. So you can put this in the calculator and solve it up. This is the derived f prime of x. And the answer would be 1.81. Similarly, please solve the others. You can see most of them are worked out over here. And you can check the answers over here. Just differentiation and then use the limits. The limits will be given for all the problems. Okay. That's the end of the question number 4. Just remember differentiation, differentiate it, use the formula, everything in calculator.